I am going to test 12 different products with specific ingredients targeted at solving common skin concerns. At the end of the week, I'm going to share with you the results on my skin after 7 days of consistent skincare. But first, let's analyze my skin. Starting from my cheeks, you can see that I have very large visible pores, especially around my nose, and also my skin tends to look really dry. I also have a few imperfections like pimples, and the bumpy texture in my skin is whiteheads. My forehead also presents quite enlarged pores, as well as signs of fine lines. My nose is where I have the most visible blackheads, and also it is quite oily. My chin is quite rough and it also has a lot of blackheads and whiteheads. According to different sources on the web, that my skin is a combination dehydrated skin type. Following the standard order of a typical Korean skincare, I'm going to start with a cleanser. I chose Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser because it is delicate with good cleansing properties while also being hydrating. I am not wearing any foundation at the moment, but if I did, my first step would be uh, an oil cleanser and I like to use coconut oil to remove all my makeup before I do a foaming cleanser. My second steps are exfoliators. I am using COSRX AHA and BHA. So AHA is to remove all the dead skin cells of your skin. And then I am using BHA on certain parts of my face to dissolve all the blackheads on my T-zone. These products contain acids which can be very irritating for the skin so it is not recommended that you use them every day but you should always feel how your skin is reacting to them before increasing the quantity that you use i also recommend that you only use the acids during your night routine because you must avoid sun exposures after using exfoliators if you use them during the day i recommend following up with a spf after exfoliating my skin already feels a lot better i use plenty of water to wash away all the product residue. Now it's time for toner. I chose pH 5.5 relief toner to soothe and balance the pH of my skin after using the acidic products. After toning it's time for a serum or an essence. Serums should be applied from the lighter texture to the heavier one to make sure that you get the best absorption. I have many serums to choose from and I would say to avoid vitamin C after you've used AHA or BHA because it can be very irritating. So I'm choosing the Glow Deep Serum with rice and alpha arbutin. Arbutin works very well with AHA and it's going to help to brighten my dull skin. After the serum, I'm using the COSRX Snail Power Essence to add more radiance and moisture to my skin. And because my skin is very dry, I'm also using the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum to add even more moisture to my skin. The last step for my night routine is the Hyaluronic Acid Moist Cream from Isn't Tree. This step is mainly to retain the moisture from the previous products that you have applied and I really like this cream because it makes my skin stay hydrated for many hours. This was the night routine of my first day. For the rest of the week, I'm going to alternate different routines and different products and tailor them to my skin specifically for the concerns that I have that day. Here is a detailed view of, of every routine that I have done during the week. Depending on the look and feel of my skin, I have added or reduced steps to the routines. You can download this printable skincare tracker through the link in my info box. It is only $1 and it will help me to create more content like this. These are some products that I have added to my skincare routines. So I've used the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This is really moisturizing and it makes your skin feel really soft as soon as you apply it. Then I have also alternated between the Beauty of the Zoom Ginseng and Snail Serum and the Vitamin C Serum from Cos de Baja. Both of these have antioxidant properties and they're especially good if you have stayed in the sun 
to fight free radicals that you get from sun exposure. For SPF, I always use the Sunjang Per Director 50 Plus sunscreen. Even though I have alternated different products depending on my skin concerns of that day, I have always made sure to follow some simple rules. Rule number one is always use cleanser and properly remove all makeup. Never mix AHA or BHA with vitamin C. Use Arbutin in conjunction with AHA. Always use SPF when staying outdoor. Have at least a cleanser, toner, hydrating serum and moisturizer in the routine. These are some tools that are going to make your skincare routine a bit easier and more effective. The first one is a reusable cotton pad which has a little bit of texture. I like to use this when I put AHA on my face because it helps to have a better exfoliation effect. I also use these tools. So this one is a little brush with tiny bristles. I use this especially to help BHA get deeper into my pores and have a better cleansing effect. And then this other tool is made for extracting blackheads. And I do recommend to not press too hard because it tends to be too painful if you do not do it correctly. And remember that if you use this, you should always sterilize them before. This cute headband keeps my hair away. But I think the most interesting thing is that it comes with these cute uh, wristbands so when you use water to wash your face the water doesn't run through your elbows to the ground which i think is really annoying so these are really cute and useful you can find all the products that i've used in my description box these are the results after seven days of consistent use of korean skincare products my cheeks feel a lot smoother and also the appearance of pores has reduced a lot the pores and blackheads on my nose are a lot less thanks to the BHA and the same is also for my chin. Overall my skin looks a lot less dry and more glowy. Even though I haven't achieved the perfect last skin of Korean idols, I'm still very satisfied with the result and I believe that to achieve perfect glass skin maybe Korean skincare is not enough. I think part of it is genetics and also cosmetic procedures. Also keep in mind that I've only tried these products for 7 days, but I'm sure that with a consistent use over a month, the results are gonna be even more visible. Please let me know in the comments if you ever tried any of these products and what is your skincare routine. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.